The 1980s marked a significant turning point for Japan's self-defense strategy. The nation was at a crossroads, needing to modernize its military capabilities to keep up with the rapidly changing global landscape. The Cold War was at its peak, and tensions were high in the Pacific. The geopolitical climate was fraught with uncertainty, and Japan had to be prepared for any potential threats. Japan faced increasing threats from sophisticated enemy aircraft and advanced anti-ship missiles. These new threats required a robust and agile response to ensure the nation's security. The aging Mitsubishi F-15J Eagle, while still capable, was no longer sufficient to meet the demands of modern aerial combat. A more advanced and versatile fighter jet was needed to fill the gap. A new fighter was essential to protect Japan's airspace and maritime interests. This new aircraft would need to be equipped with the latest technology to effectively counter any threats. Japan's defense strategists and aviation engineers began exploring various options for a next-generation fighter aircraft. They held numerous discussions and reviewed countless blueprints to find the best solution. This new fighter would need advanced capabilities, including state-of-the-art avionics, superior maneuverability, and enhanced weapon systems. It would need to counter emerging threats and seamlessly integrate with existing defense systems. The goal was to create a fighter jet that could dominate the skies. The goal was clear, maintain air superiority in the region. This was crucial for Japan's national security and its ability to project power in the Pacific. Several proposals emerged from Japanese manufacturers, each offering unique solutions and innovative designs. These designs reflected Japan's growing technological prowess and its commitment to advancing its aerospace capabilities. However, developing an entirely new fighter jet came with significant challenges. The process was complex and required substantial resources. Cost was a major factor, and so was the timeline for deploying a new aircraft. Balancing these considerations was a delicate task for Japan's defense planners. Faced with these considerations, Japan opted for a different approach. Instead of going it alone, they decided to seek international collaboration. It would partner with an international ally, leveraging shared expertise and resources to develop the new fighter jet. This decision would shape the future of Japanese aerospace, ensuring that Japan remained at the forefront of military aviation technology. The United States, a longtime ally, emerged as the ideal partner for Japan's new fighter jet program. This partnership was built on decades of mutual trust and shared strategic interests. The U.S. had a proven track record and extensive experience in developing advanced fighter aircraft making it a reliable collaborator. This collaboration promised numerous benefits, including technological advancements and enhanced defense capabilities for both nations. Japan considered several American aircraft as potential platforms for its new fighter, each offering unique advantages. The F-15 Eagle, already in service with Japan, was one strong contender. Its proven performance and reliability made it a viable option. Its larger size offered significant advantages for long-range missions, providing greater fuel capacity and payload. Another option was the newer F-A-18 Hornet, a carrier-based aircraft known for its versatility and adaptability in various combat scenarios. Ultimately, the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon was selected. This decision was based on a comprehensive evaluation of its capabilities. The F-16 was a highly maneuverable and cost-effective platform known for its agility and performance in dogfights. It had a strong reputation and was battle-proven, having been used successfully in numerous conflicts around the world. Its design could be adapted to meet Japan's specific requirements, allowing for customization in avionics and weaponry. The decision to base Japan's new fighter on the F-16 was strategic, ensuring interoperability with existing systems and future upgrades. It allowed for a balance of cost, capability, and development time, making it a practical choice for Japan's defense needs.
This choice would have a lasting impact on the capabilities of the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, enhancing its operational readiness and effectiveness for years to come. While the F-2 shared its lineage with the F-16, it was far from a simple copy. The F-2 was a unique aircraft in its own right, designed to meet specific requirements. Japan and the United States embarked on a joint development program, pooling their expertise and resources. This collaboration aimed to create a fighter that was specifically tailored to Japan's needs, addressing both regional threats and operational demands. The F-2 would incorporate advanced technologies, pushing the boundaries of what was possible at the time. One of the most significant modifications was the enlargement of the F-2's wings and tail surfaces, which were designed to enhance performance. This increased the aircraft's lift and maneuverability, making it well-suited for air-to-air -air combat and other demanding missions. The F-2 also featured advanced avionics, including a powerful radar system and an integrated electronic warfare suite, ensuring it could handle modern threats. The F-2's cockpit was redesigned with large multifunction displays, providing the pilot with enhanced situational awareness and ease of control. The F-2's weapon systems were also upgraded, allowing it to engage a wide range of targets. It could carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, as well as bombs, making it a versatile platform. These modifications transformed the F-16 into a highly capable fighter, optimized for Japan's unique operational requirements, ensuring it could effectively defend the nation's airspace. Trials and Triumphs Overcoming Development Barriers The development of the F-2 was not without its challenges. The collaborative nature of the project, while beneficial, presented hurdles. Coordinating design teams across continents required meticulous planning. It meant overcoming language barriers and technical differences. Technology transfer also posed a significant challenge. Japan sought access to advanced American aerospace technologies. However, the United States had concerns about protecting its technological edge. This led to negotiations. It resulted in agreements regarding the sharing of sensitive information. Despite these obstacles, the F-2 program persevered. Japanese and American engineers worked tirelessly to overcome technical hurdles. They found innovative solutions to complex problems. Through their combined efforts, they ensured the F-2's successful development. This paved the way for its entry into service with the JASDF. From factory to front line, the F-2 in service. The first F-2 fighter jet rolled off the assembly line in 1995. This marked a significant milestone for Japan's aerospace industry. It demonstrated the successful collaboration between Japan and the United States. Production continued over the next decade. The F-2 entered operational service with the JASDF in 2000. It gradually replaced older aircraft in the air defense role. The F-2's introduction significantly enhanced Japan's air superiority capabilities. The F-2 was deployed to key air bases throughout Japan. It provided a vital defense against potential threats. Its advanced capabilities made it a formidable opponent in the region. The F-2's entry into service marked a new era for the JASDF. It provided Japan with a modern and capable fighter force. This force was ready to meet the challenges of the 21st century.